welcome back to Flint Creek Transport. My name is Justin. So just landed here at JFK and I am getting ready to go to uh, Cassone Truck and Equipment to pick up uh, that hook lift truck. So now I catch an Uber and uh, get there hopefully before too long and try to make it back tonight yet. Yeah. All right guys, I am here at Cassone Truck and Equipment. Look at all these trucks. Still got a lot here for sale. Here's ours. I don't know about that black bumper. We're gonna have to really work on that. Let's do a quick inspection here. Looks a little looks a little high. I really just would feel comfortable if I would throw a tape measure on there. So I think we're gonna we're gonna try to do that. This is a little bit concerning too. She is. Oil looks good. Hopefully the duff is good. Let's see if we can get this thing fired up. Not too bad in here. All right, guys. So, this is about 8, shut this off. So this is about 8.30 in the morning. I have about six, six and a half hour ride back. Um, who's willing to make a bet with me? I am hope, hoping I can make it back. Uh, what I'm concerned about uh, is the emission system. So who thinks that I can make it back to Geneva without a check engine light going on. I don't know. I highly doubt I will be able to do that, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot here. First get this thing fired up. The reason I have my doubts that I'll be able to make it back without a light going on is that this truck has been sitting for a little bit. So that's what is a little bit concerning. No, don't tell me there's a check engine light on right now. Oh man, it's blinking. Ah. Wind off. I think what you hear beeping now is the low air. Low air pressure, we got half a tank of fuel. Battery looks good. There's our air pressure. Our def is half full. I'll probably have to stop and throw some def in there. Oil pressure's looking good. Trans temperature is not reading because it's obviously too cold. my uh, triangles and my uh, my fire extinguisher is actually look at that it's no good I'm gonna have to get another one to show you this is a this is a overlooked problem just so here's a good reminder for you guys check your fire extinguisher but it happens so that one's out it's in the red see the orange so I want to I want to get that uh, swapped out here before I leave. I think 
there's supposed to be a handle. Maybe not. Got three in there. There's my operating manual. Looks like a great piece that'll vibrate for me. Okay. Looks good for me. I just didn't get to drive it yet, so. And I better not, I mean, those are strapped from falling out the back, but I gotta run straps over the top. All right, guys, let's go into the details. So this is a Cummins 2016. It is uh, international, obviously, and has a 240 series hook lift on it. It's a 250 horsepower with automatic transmission, I was down uh, a couple weeks ago and checked it out and this was the cleanest one that I saw. So, you know, I should look around and see if they have that Peterbilt or anything else here. But what I did is I bought three containers. One is, I want to say the bottom one, I, should, I have to look again, but I'm pretty sure it's a 16 foot on the bottom. That bottom one's 16 foot and then the two other ones are 14 foot and he's like you know what you can put them right in the bed and haul them like that so i i don't think i'm over hyped but i want to say that i'm going to guess and say i'm probably all of 12 i'm all at 12 6 i'm going to say i'm i'm getting right up there i got to be getting right up there so it makes it i think it's going to make it a little top heavy and i got uh, anyway it's going to be an interesting ride home, let's just say that. But it's going to be good. I just want to get home without a check engine light. I just want to get home tonight. I want to get home by 3 or 4 o'clock this afternoon. If I could do that, that would be awesome. And, you know, a lot of these trucks, these uh, the Cummins, the smaller Cummins, they seem to have figured out a little bit better. Or, like, the emission systems, I guess they have figured out a little bit better. So see what else they got here so some of these this is a 240 this is a freight liner so i think i looked at this one this one was only a 26 000 gvw yeah and then this is the 222 right 214 so i wanted the 240 that's a little bit heavier hook lift system all right they got a lot of trucks so if anyone's interested in a truck they, i mean they got stuff here from all over the place and you got a lot of different bodies on just regular dump trucks and i would always recommend you know a a, a flight you can fly right into jfk a couple hundred bucks right a couple hundred bucks at most couple hundred bucks at most you can fly in and inspect a truck always always would recommend when you're buying a truck like this inspecting it checking it out and uh, I'm glad I did so not that other equipment here isn't good but at least I have a little better idea um, you know I, I really I'm at least for me I'm really concerned about the rust side of it and so i always look for trucks that are clean to start with this is by all means not really a pretty truck but it'll get the job done 
Maybe we, we can find some chrome skins uh, for that bumper. If anybody knows a nice chrome bumper we can get for that thing, that would really help it out. All right, so I'm just about uh, to go. I really, all I need is, I need some get some straps, which I think they're working on, and I need the fire extinguisher. I got my easy pass, I got my license plates. I got every, everything else. He's gotta just put the license plates on, which they will do for me. I was getting ready to do it myself, but they take good care of you here. Got it loaded, strapped, ready to roll. Plates on here in the back. I checked all my signals. I think we're all good there. So we're going to give it a whirl. Those old lug nuts. Um, all right, we're gonna give it a whirl. See how it runs. This thing only uh, this thing only idles for a few minutes, which is great, but it will uh, sh it'll shut off. So. Oh, I was gonna check one more thing, my fuel, because I wanna make sure the gauge works correctly. So, sometimes your gauge says, ah, oh, you know, half a tank, but I really wanna know that I have half a tank. Can't really see fuel in there. Sounds pretty empty. I don't know. I think the safest bet for me is to not go very far and get fuel. Fuel and death because I don't want to be stuck somewhere along the, along the side of the road. Be stuck somewhere with no fuel and no death. That would be a bad day. See if we make it back without any uh, check engine lights. That's the question. Will we make it back without any check engine lights? So I'm gonna go a little cautiously here. You know what, I'm missing, I got forgot. I wanna put my registration up there. So. We're gonna do that here in a minute. Ooh, I can tell this is a little top heavy. I will not be setting any speed records, that's for sure. The other thing that I wonder is, what's top speed on this thing? You think I'll get 60, 65? What do you think? You know what? I should just put that sticker on. We'll just put it on. I think it's a brand new windshield anyway. All right. We're golden. You know what? One more thing. That fire extinguisher. I gotta get that yet. And I did check my height. I used the app on my phone, which is kind of crazy because I don't have a tape measure, but I think I'm around, it's, it's 12, six or 13 foot right in there. So here we go. All right, guys, just a quick stop here. Uh, went, don't wanna walk around here around the truck, just making sure everything is good. Making sure the lug nuts are tight and you know, just kind of checking things. So everything looks to be fine. Straps are still tight. I got, I think I feel pretty good about everything. These tires are definitely a little old and they've been curbed many, 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 many times. But I think it'll work. 
I'm excited to get this thing back and uh, get it rolling, get it into use. I made it back. Um, everything went well. Uh, there, I stopped a couple times to check uh, the straps, and everything was good there. So, do you guys want to see if there's any uh, check engine lights on? Right. So, un unbelievable. But check it out. The only light that's on is my fuel light, and I did not want to run it that low, and the fuel gauge went down really, really, really fast. But I made it the whole way back without a check engine light. Uh, that means that I'm going to have to enter uh, another 50 bucks uh, towards that new, to try to win that Peterbilt truck. So maybe this will actually get me uh, the winning ticket. <laughs> but yeah. I'm, I'm actually very thankful. So it's a, a, a pleasant surprise. Um, it was a little bit humbling maybe to uh, put deaf in it, but uh, oh well, everything went well here. So hopefully this means that this truck is gonna be a good running truck. So now Trevor gets his turn at it and he gets to pull it in the shop. We get to add lettering and all that fun stuff. So guys, like today, I got a hammer down hoodie on. Uh, I'm gonna also have these available at the merch store, so make sure you guys check out our merch store, flintcreekmerch.com. So, the other thing too, guys, is about the coffee. I'm gonna try to do a giveaway every week. I wanna try to go live maybe uh, on on a Saturday or on Saturdays. I can see how my, how my month is looking, but go live at some point or maybe in the evening. And uh, so whoever places a merch order or a coffee order will automatically get entered to win or to pick something from the merch store, whether you want coffee or whether you want a, a jacket. Um, uh oh, the truck just shut off. But yeah, so you guys get entered to win something from the merch store. You're a, a pick of your choice. So there you go. All right, time to, time to cut it. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out.